another day, another crap check. I was gonna say that I am gassed because for me, it's like Christmas every time I get to open a new box of sneakers, trainers, crepes. Although this is probably the first time I already feel before I've even opened the box that I'm a little bit meh. So I'm coming at you today with a new Yeezy, a colorway that hasn't had that much hype. And I'm pretty sure that they were even struggling to sell at one point. I'll come back to that later on in the sneaker review. And maybe this is a controversial opinion, but has the EU been shafted with this regional release? What is crackalacking people? It is your boy, it is your dog, it is your brother from another mother, AKA the lifestyle surgeon, AKA Dr. Vassell, AKA Wayne. And welcome, welcome, welcome to another crep check. And today we are unboxing and reviewing the brand new released Yeezy 350 V2 Monomist colorway. So let's not waste no time and let's get straight to unboxing this thing. Adidas always seem to send these huge boxes. So, let's get that out of the way. So, looking at the box, it is a pretty standard Yeezy 350 box. I must admit, the same iconic design the cardboard with the 350 and the boost, the size tag reads mono miss, mono miss, mono miss. And it's in my size, size 11. Now I'd probably go as far as to say that I think Adidas may have missed an opportunity here. I think the mono mist or the mono series of sneakers have had quite a big makeover. And I think it might have been an opportunity to just do a little bit more work on the box. Maybe if they had a, like a, a semi-transparent 350, jazz up the box a bit. But hey, it's just a sneaker box. We care about what's inside. So let's get these out. So this Yeezy is one of three colorways that is being released this weekend. We have the Mono Mist if you're in the EU, we have the Mono Ice if you're in the States, and we have the Mono Clay if you're in Asia. The recommended retail price for these trainers is £180. Once I had caught these, I went back into the app and I noticed the raffle was still very much live and kicking. Add to this the fact that the resale value of this trainer when I had a check on StockX is roughly around about £211. I'm drawing conclusions that I think many sensible people would in that these trainers probably aren't the most sought after. Now I look across the ocean to Asia and the States and I gotta say, I feel a little bit jealous. They have such vibrant colorways. The mono ice and mono clay just look so nice. I can't help but feel like us Europeans got shafted with no loop and we managed to land the ugly duckling of the trio. That's right, I said it. Come on, look at this trainer and compare to the other colorways and tell me that you don't agree. If you do agree, or if you don't agree, let me know in the comment section, because I would like to know your opinion. And in addition, I'm also interested to understand why do we even have regional releases? Why can't everywhere just get what they want? 
anybody can explain the phenomenon of regional releases, please hit me up in the comments section and explain because I just don't get it. <laughs> so I've had my rant, rant over. Let's go to actually reviewing this trainer. So first impressions of this trainer is it's not really brown. And I think I recall the product images making this trainer, this crepe look brown. Whereas a matter of fact, it's purple. There are, yeah, it's like an off purple. With this, the, 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 the part that I'm used to being semi-transparent on the Yeezy 350, kind of being a deeper purple. I don't know if you can appreciate that on camera. So it's not really brown. Next impressions are, this trainer is just a little bit mm, meh. Like, it's not the worst trainer ever, but when you compare it to the other colorways, the mono clay and the mono ice, those colorways are just so vibrant, so energetic, so summery, just so nice. Whereas this colorway is just a bit meh. So let's get deeper into this trainer review and let's start with the outsole. So the outsole is just as I would expect from a Yeezy 350 V2. You have the typical exposed sections of the Boost technology in the hind foot and in the forefoot of the trainer in these perforated segments. Now moving to the upper of the trainer itself and I guess that's where everything changes. Now the upper of this is a mono mesh filament. Hence the name mono mist, mono ice, and I think you get the gist of what I'm saying, mono clay. And the best way to describe it is to think of this upper as like the semi-translucent part on a normal 350. It has the same kind of texture. Imagine taking that strip and stretching it over the whole trainer. With that in mind, it is quite a rugged feeling upper. It's quite rigid, quite firm, quite coarse and rough. And what you may also notice as you look through the trainer is that kind of crypts of a cave kind of look, which is really clear when you look into the interior aspect of the trainer. And I've got to say, I actually really quite like it. It gives the trainer some character, something different makes it a little bit edgy. Another thing I like about this trainer is they have returned the heel pull tab. I love that feature in the Adidas Yeezy 350 V2 Boosts. It gives the trainer let's say a je ne sais quoi that I just love. You notice that the shoelace inlets have a plastic ring. I must admit, I'm not too keen on that. I feel like it kind of cheapens the trainer a little bit. I much prefer on previous 350s, I think I've got a pair here, actually I can show you these ones that I recently reviewed. If you haven't seen that review, click the link and go check that out. But I prefer the shoelace inlets on this. Notice how there is no rings, it's just stealth. It gives the trainer a more stealth, minimalistic, simple, clean look. Whereas I think the shoe lace inlet rings kind of just cheapen it a little bit. I can only hazard a guess to say over time the shoelace would probably fray the upper and maybe even tear it. Or maybe the upper just may not be able to withstand the tension from a tight shoelace tie. Looking at the insole, let me get that out there so you can see, it is bright orange and it has the Yeezy Adidas with the Adidas logo in between. And it, like I said, it's bright orange. That immediately makes me think, why? Why put the only color to an otherwise, I guess, beige looking trainer inside where you're not gonna see it? Imagine how this trainer would look, as a matter of fact, if we had a bright orange outsole or a midsole. You know, that maybe could be the key that added a whole depth of character to this trainer, taking it away from being beige. Just don't get it. I mean, I mean, is Adidas and Yeezy just mocking us in the EU? Do you think we are beige? <laughs> Are you, why must you mock us? Okay. <laughs> so the only real difference from the lateral and the medial side of the trainer, if you can appreciate, is that strip that we're used to, which tends to be semi-translucent. It's there on the lateral side, but it's absent on the medial side. I should have done it that way. So it's absent on the medial side. So final thoughts. I think you guys already know. 
this is a definite miss from me. I just don't even know what I would rock with this. What more beige? You know, I probably have to go out and buy some beige garments so that this would at least work with something. I think this colorway unfortunately lacks the vibrancy, the energy, the enthusiasm, the character that the mono ice and the mono clay have. Adidas and Yeezy, if you're listening to me, don't mock us anymore. Just, just give us all the colorways we want. None of this regional release business. Well, that's man's review in it. If I had given you guys anything of value, do me a favor, drop me a like. Let me know what you think of these in the comment section. I am very intrigued to know what the general populace opinion is on these sneakers, or should I say on this colorway, and your feelings on what this regional colorway release business is about. What you're gonna see now is these on feet. Thank you for stopping by. This has been another Crep Check. People, we out. Peace.